place. What did you call it? The meeting? Uh-huh. Why? Well, all the country around here is bound up in an old legend about Laurie Fraser and my forebear, the Lord of the Glen. And this is where they were reputed to meet, where he had his wicked way with her. Laurie Fraser and how many others? I'm sorry about the night of the beacon. Sorry? But I kissed you. I really don't know what possessed me. I don't usually kiss women I've not yet been introduced to. You don't? Right, come on, let's eat. What a sad story. Lady Laurie and all those long, lonely nights. Oh, you know it already, do you? Well, there was one of your books back at the hotel. Ah. Or did you just make that all up? Certainly not. I'm a reputable Edinburgh publisher. Are you really the Lord of the Glen? No. Well, yes, actually. That is, my family are descendants. We don't use the title. There's nothing that goes with it. The feudal perks, for instance, like money or horses or virgins. Sounds tough. Why don't you use your husband's name? What? Well, we all call you Miss McAllister, but you're really Mrs. Hunter, aren't you? Yes. Uh, I use my own name for the gallery, somehow. How did you know about my husband? Georgie told me. She knows most things. Georgie. Now, she came as Nelson to the Beacon, right? That's Georgie. You don't approve? No, I do. She's quite a relief, actually. They all like to think they know everything about you. This is a small community. She said your husband was a fine painter. Yes, he was. He was a fine painter. Or if you'd rather not talk about it. No, I'd rather not. It was all a long time ago. What about you, never married? No. Georgina told me. <laughs> I won't marry. Until I meet the woman I know I must marry, but I can't avoid marrying. I won't marry until I meet the person that I know that I can spend the rest of my life with. Satisfied? Yes. Good. On your own enough at the castle. Is that not, uh, where are you? Should I? Well, it's uh, a bit lonely, I would have thought. I like it. Uh huh. I like my own company. Well, if you ever feel like coming down to Edinburgh. Someday. How long is Jane going to be away for? I didn't say. Does it mean anything that this string is pulling? What? Good God, woman. String indeed. Here, give me it. Wind it in, wind it in. Thank you. No, no, damn it. You lost it. I got away. What a clever old fish. <laughs> <laughs>
go in peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Donald. You go on, Mother. I have someone to see you. Don't be too long, dear. The Metcalfe's are lunching with us. You heard yeah. from Jane yet? Yes, I got a postcard. She's in Paris. Ah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Do you morning, mind if I steal Miss McAllister away from her? Oh, there's something I'd like to see. Thank you. Sure, that's the way the wind blows. I could have a fiver for that every time Ross Fleming is ticking up with a new woman. I would need to work for my living. <laughs> you women. Good morning, Miss Muir. I've brought a friend to see the tomb. This is Sarah McAllister, the new owner of Castle Kala. Sarah, this is your predecessor at the castle, Miss Muir. Pleased to meet you. Is this it? Yes. Laurie Catherine Fraser, 1721 to 1796. Life, not death, hath been my foe. Now released to my love, I go. Poor lady. Miss Muir tends the grave, keeps it neat. Should you ever want to come see the castle, you'd always be welcome, Miss Muir. Don't stay at the castle. What? Don't stay. Come on, let's go. Sure, you're just now, Miss Muir. Bye. She all right, Ross? Too long on her own. Would it be a warning to you? Never sleep. Oh. oh, don't be too impressed. Practically every burn in Scotland has one. Different lovers, same story. Are you a cynic? Well, there was no need for him to leap. If he'd gone a few paces up the valley, he could have stepped across. <laughs> well, I like the idea of him leaping and Lady Laurie welcoming him into her arms. An old-fashioned romantic, is that what you are? Maybe. Yes, why not? Oh, I'm not sure that's my style. No? Pity. Besides. What? I thought we'd gone further than that. When? These past few days, I, I thought. You thought? Well, that we were. That there was something more between us. Damn it, there was something, and you know it. No, Ross, so... please. What? What? I'm sorry, it, it, it's too quick, it's too soon. I don't want any involvement, not yet, I'm sorry. Well, you'll let me know when you're ready then, will you? Ready, like some exotic fruit? No, I'm sorry, I'm not ready for you, not for anyone. I'm sorry too, you seem to be giving that impression. I was giving no such thing. You felt nothing then? Ross, we're just getting to know each other, that's all. These things take time, at least they do for me. I was married for seven years. I haven't been 
playing the field like you. Playing the field, uh-huh. God, I'm just another woman to you, another challenge, another conquest to be made, right? Well, for me, it's different. I will not be rushed. I will take my time and make up my own mind. Oh, let's not argue. It's stupid. By all means, take your time if that's what you want. I'm sorry, I misread the signs. You were right. It's stupid of me. Don't worry, I'll not embarrass you again. I'm going home to Edinburgh this evening. Ross. Well, I'll find my own way back. Ross. Miss Muir. I wish you'd come to the castle. You're always welcome. When I left, I vowed I'd never go in again. And I won't. That's where he said to meet her, you know, that last time. Who? Lady Laurie and her lord. But she didn't come. Couldn't, you see couldn't believe that he really loved her. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Poor lady. She wanted him, of course. She loved him. But she couldn't be sure of him. And so, 